Good morning. I am Dr. Job Thomas from Cochin University and I am going to talk on ultrasonic pulse velocity test in concrete. Ultrasonic pulse velocity test is a non-destructive test of concrete and it is conducted on the built, con built concrete structure. The non-destructive testing is the process of testing of concrete without damaging the structure. And it is done for three aspects. One is uh, quality assurance and prior to purchase, anybody wish to do the quality assurance of the structure, then it should be done. And then dispute settlement if a uh, contractor claims for a higher quality of concrete, then it should be done. And then forensic investigation when uh, a structure damages due to something and uh, if it is for material reasons or material strength reasons, it is being assessed based on the uh, non-destructive testing. And uh, for example, if you want to purchase the mall, a uh, figure is shown here so where you can see that lot of uh, beams, a lot of structural members like beams, columns, walls, etc. being constructed with concrete and its quality need to be assessed based on this uh, particular test. And what you get based on the non distributed test is given in this slide. One is strength of the concrete and another is uh, uniformity in quality of concrete. So the no, the very common non destructive tests are one is uh, ultrasonic pulse velocity test that I am going to discuss today. Other one is uh, rebound hammer test, and uh, we'll just see how this ultrasonic pulse velocity test is being conducted. See, in working principle, if you see it, a figure of uh, ultrasonic pulse velocity meter is uh, shown in this uh, shown in the slide, and there you can see three components all together. One is transmitter, another one is receiver, and a third one is the time machine device that is a box. Uh, the red color one is the transmitter, and uh, the green color one is the receiver. The Transmitter and the receiver props are pressed against the concrete surface where the testing is to be done and the physical distance between the props are measured and then the time required to traverse the ultra ultrasonic pulse from the transmitter to receiver is recorded. If the concrete is firm or if there is any uh, no damage in the concrete then the pulse will tra traverse a straight line directly from the transmitter to the receiver and if there is a damage in the concrete as shown in a blue color it traverses around the damage and as a result it takes more time to reach at the receiver point. So, in this uh, approach, we will calculate the apparent velocity as the velocity is equal to the length be between the receiver and the transmitter divided by the time taken for the traverse. The apparent velocity will be high for direct traversing and non flow concrete, and the app uh, apparent velocity will be low for damaged concrete or cracked concrete. In the test procedure, we have some steps to be followed. It is listed in the slide. Locate the dry location in the structure where the test need to be conducted. Then clean the surface of the concrete to remove the grits and scales. Smoothen with a grinding wheel. Mark grid of size 300 by 300 mm on the surface of the structure. So, in this figure it is shown in a wall structure how it is being done. You can see that the entire structure 
is being divided into grids of size 300 by 300 mm on both faces where the testing is to be done. And measure the, measure the distance between the grid points where the transmitter and the receiver are to be placed. Then apply the grease or petroleum jelly on the grid points so that the props will get a better contact on the surface. Press the transmitter and receiver on the predetermined grid points and switch on the ultrasonic machine so that the traverse length is being displayed on the machine. So you see the figure here, the transmitter and receiver is kept on the opposite face of the wall and when you switch on the machine you will see the display is going, uh, is changing and the time of traverse will be displayed on the machine and based on this you compute the apparent velocity. And how to interpret the result? The first is quality grade of concrete. If the velocity is greater than 4.5 km per second, the concrete is said to be good quality. If it is between 4.5 to 2.5, the concrete is said to be medium quality and uh, if it is less than 2.5, it is uh, to be doubtful case, so more tests need to be conducted. And how the uniformity in quality is being assessed, that is given in this slide. The range or the difference between the maximum and minimum magnitude of uh, apparent velocity is considered. If it is less than 0.5 km per second, then it is said to be of uniform quality and if it is less greater than 0.5 km per second it is said to be under the doubtful condition there also more tests need to be conducted thank you very much for your kind attention thank you